I came to this meeting tonight because... I you, thought I might yeah. get someone here from your society. I'm not from the society. Oh, you're not. Oh, I'm sorry. See, one of the things I would like to correct in your presentation is that the Flat Earth Society is controlled opposition. It's not what Flat Earthers actually believe. Oh, really? <laughs> So there are very valid reasons to believe in a flat earth, and okay. yeah, so simply put, if and nobody... from the society? No. Okay. I'm, just, I'm, one of a, what I'm one of a lot of people that are realizing that the earth, it, there is no curvature or spin. <laughs> what a bunch of fucking bullshit. So, <laughs> so <laughs> if, and I have a thousand dollar challenge here for anybody that can show me that... Marshall Park in Middleton is 21.6 feet lower than uh, Warner, Park. Warner Park in Madison because that's what your curvature formula says it should be if it's a ball that's 24,901 miles in circumference. I don't want you losing all our scrimpings! So I have, uh, if anybody's interested in doing that, if they want to show me, uh, I mean, I have, I have my information here if you want to go ahead and do that. Because just, just think, did, did you know that Warner Park is supposed to be 20 feet lower than uh, Marshall Park? That sounds like a lot, doesn't it? That defies true science. <laughs> Do you believe that that curve is there? If there were no such things as hills or... Yes. No, o over, the, over the lake. Water is supposed to be uh, curving with the earth, right? Like the ocean would do if it was a ball. Oh, so, well, that's why we, we, we don't need to have locks. How can you, you can see Chicago 40 you know miles across is? like miles. Great story, compelling and rich. I'm, can, I, can I just make a point here? This is, this is concerning. I'm sure that there are people here who will approach you later and okay. if they are interested in taking up your challenge. Can I make some points about your, your flat earth history? Oh no, God! No, God, please, no, no! Yes. yes. I would like to, the, the judge okay, the four, there's four points, uh, rational points, scientific points you made for considering it to be a spherical Earth. And those were Aristophanes. Aristophanes. And Aristotle's three points about the declination of the... Aristophanes? Of Aristophanes. Aristophanes. How do you pronounce it? Wow. Aristophanes. Aristophanes, yeah. For, uh, forgive me. I, I'm not Greek. I don't speak Greek. Yeah. So, Ar Aristophanes. Aristophanes. Did I say it right that time? No. Well, we know who Aristophanes. Aristophanes. Okay. Aristotle, in the declination of the pole star, eclipses and a ship going over the horizon. <laughs> All four of those are easily disproven, and, and that's why people are starting to wonder. Hmm. Well, have you thought about, I don't know, not doing that?